Welcome to Pro Wrestling History Daily Top 5. I'm your host, the eclectic gentleman, Stefan Watts, and join me as I count down the top five moments for this day in pro wrestling history. But before we get started, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get our wrestling history on. Number 5, 1986. Dusty Rhodes defeats Arn Anderson for the NWA television title in Columbia, South Carolina, starting his third reign with the belt. Number 4, 1980. The Samoans defeat Tony Gurria and Rene Goulet in a tournament final for the Worldwide Wrestling Federation World Tag Team titles in Allentown, Pennsylvania, starting their second run with the belts. The titles had been vacated when Pedro Morales and Bob Backlund defeated the Samoans, but Backlund was unable to defend the tag belts due to being the WWWF World Heavyweight Champion. Number 3, 1944. Gus Sonnenberg Passes Away An American football player and professional wrestler of German descent, as a wrestler he was the National Wrestling Association World Heavyweight Champion. In the NFL, he played from 1923 to 1930 for the Buffalo All-Americans, the Columbus Tigers, Detroit Panthers, and the Providence Steamrollers, where he was a member of the 1928 NFL Championship team. Number 2, 1991. Ric Flair wrestles his first match for the WWF following his departure from WCW that previous July. He defeats Jim Powers at a WWF television taping in Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. Number 1, 1988. Leroy McGurk passes away. An amateur and professional wrestler as well as a promoter, he was involved in professional wrestling for more than 50 years. As one of the longest surviving members of the National Wrestling Alliance, he was affiliated with the promotion from 1949 to 1982, where he was a one-time NWA World Junior Heavyweight Champion. And that's our list. Make sure to comment below what you feel was the number one moment for this day in pro wrestling history.